what was it within the Goldman Sachs report that investors didn't like, Danny? It feels a bit like looking a gift horse in the mouth, doesn't it? They have these great fixed income yeah. numbers. Other banks couldn't keep up in this area, and still it sold off. So three explanations I'm going to give for you. One, it looked good, but investors are saying, show me more. I'm not going to believe it. Maybe this is a peak. Number two would be the CFO uh, did there say that they weren't going to have buybacks in the next quarter. And the main reason that I really think people are missing here, you know I like to look at the macro picture, yeah. and we were talking about this chart just now, yeah. is that yield curves are flattening. Have a look at this chart, guys. I think this is number 11859. Bank sink as the curves flat. This is the KBW index versus the 2 to 10 spread. Right. Very clear what's happening. Yeah, because banks, this, this is not good for banks, especially if the yield curve inverts. Very bearish for banks. So regardless of what earnings are, mm. if this is the picture, you are not going to want to be buying banks in this sort of environment. What were the big takeaways on the upside? Because it beat, everyone did well in equities, didn't they? in this earnings season so far. It was the big fixed income winner, yeah, wasn't it, among, yeah, the big, think, among the biggies? Exactly. And, and look, expectations were pretty high going into this, yeah. but still they exceeded expectations. On the equity front, I think it's interesting because we always hear the strange question of they like volatility, but is it the right volatility? Mm. Uh, is it the kind of volatility that sudden spikes and scares investors? But because a 38 percent increase here for uh, a lot of the banks, actually, they strangely have this number. But it showed that this was good volatility for them. The question becomes, as we've seen the VIX fall recently, yeah. is that sustainable? Morgan Stanley today. What are we looking out for? Yeah, big equity trading shop. I think the yeah. same is going to go for them. If they miss on equities, then that, that certainly is going to be And you were talking about a Bank of, Eng Bank of America survey relative to earnings expectations. Yeah. What does that So this is a, a monthly survey uh, BAML does. And it was really interesting this month because we've had in, an incredible increase in earning expectations. The biggest uh, first quarter increase by analysts on record. Still, this is a survey of money managers. Mm. They think we're at a peak here. They do not. Uh, about 40% think that the equity market is going to peak in the second half of this year. They think earnings are at a peak. So quite the big contrast between what analysts are saying and what money managers are saying.